The title of our book is Retratos, Arte y Sociedad en Latinoamérica en España, which translates as Portraits, Art and Society in Latin America and Spain. And it is a Spanish textbook, um, high intermediate level, that focuses on composition and conversation through the visual arts and literature. One of the most important features of the book is that both of us focus a lot on women writers. And we got to include some of our favorite women writers, both from Spain and Latin America, but not only our favorite writers, but the best writers. Art is a very, very powerful tool for communication, and students, in some ways, I think, are drawn to art more than they are to literary texts. What I know about this book is that it's more interactive, so it doesn't have any grammar-specific based. However, we use our own words describe a painting or describe what we're reading and by that way we improve our grammar and we improve how we're going to speak in Spanish. We wanted to avoid stereotypes and we also wanted to really talk about what was going on today in Latin America and Spain because we found that a lot of the topics that are covered in other books are simply outdated. Students have been talking about this since middle school. Um, they're tired about talking about bullfights in Spain, although that's certainly relevant, but there are so many other interesting things that are of importance today and that's what we wanted to address, whether it be political issues or social issues or just giving our students a real sense of what Latin America and Spain is about today in the 21st century. In other textbooks, when we study culture, we study usually Day of the Dead or bullfighting. And in this material, it's different because we study people and not just these stereotypical Spanish aspects of culture. I'd say that the introduction is important for us because it does, it addresses the whole concept of otherness. Who is the other in society? And this is a good combination of an artist from Spain, Miquel Barceló, in which he, the, the piece of art is actually uh, about his experience in, in Mali, and it's a group of African women um, in the desert. Uh, then we have a, a good short story written by, by an author from Bolivia, a young uh, Latin American author, and then we have a short movie, which is a Mexican short movie called the hero or El Edwin. My favorite chapter is the chapter on the trickster. And it's a chapter devoted entirely to the use of humor uh, because it is said that if you understand what makes another person laugh, you gain a deeper understanding to who they are. It's been fun using the material in, from the book in this class because we don't just sit at our table and take notes and copy off what's on the chalkboard. We look at art and literature and we spend the class time discussing these sophisticated topics.